Oral History Project by Ray Fu. Terrorist Attacks on September 11, 2001. In the history of the U.S., <clears throat> the most infamous terrorist attack would have to be the attack on the Tuesday of September 11, 2001. The attack consisted of 19 terrorists commanded by an, organiza an organization known as Al-Qaeda, who was directed by Osama bin Laden. A total of about 3,000 people died from the surprise attack from this terrorist organization. The victims included 246 people on four different aircraft. On the morning of September 11, 2001, the future of the U.S. changed as two World Trade Centers. Two World Trade Towers along with the Pentagon collapsed. The World Trade Center located in Lower Manhattan, New York, United States, was originally built and designed by Minoru Yamasaki. The World Trade Center was first let out into public in April 4, 1973. It consisted of seven buildings with two main towers called the Twin Towers. The Twin Towers symbolized the wealth of America and capitalism in America. Here are the Twin Towers after they have been destroyed by the two planes. The first plane hit the north and the second hit the south tower. The Pentagon located in Arlington County, Virginia was designed by George Bergstrom and was opened to public January 15, 1943. The Pentagon is the headquarters of the Department of Defense in the U.S. It symbolizes the power of the U.S. military. Here is the Pentagon after it has been destroyed. The plane hit one side of the Pentagon and it destroyed a whole building, a whole building of the side of the Pentagon. I was here. Uh, I was teaching English and social studies at the time. I was in room 102 and I'd taken my students to the library to get an independent reading project book. And we were in there and the kids were looking for their book. It was somewhat after 9 o'clock, I guess about quarter after 9, 20 after 9 maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. And uh, a former counselor came into the library and called me aside, and I thought maybe he wanted to talk to me about a student. And he goes, let's go back to your classroom. So we walked down the hall to room 102, and he said, put the TV on. So we turned it on, put it on a news channel, and he goes, a plane hit the World Trade Center in New York. And they kept showing a, a plane hitting it. But when he said that, I thought it was just a, a small plane, a Cessna. But we would see this big explosion, you know, and they played over and over again. And I also noticed the other tower was on, you know, it was, it was burning. We saw this big plume of smoke going out of it. So I said to him, I go, you know, that's not, that's not a Cessna. That's a big plane. He goes, I know. I go, well, what's going on? Because they think it's, an, it's a terrorist attack. I thought, oh, wow. So, uh... We watched for a few minutes. I had to go back to the library. Uh, I walked in. I didn't say anything to the students because I didn't know, you know, whether we're supposed to. I didn't want to panic them. So uh, after about five or ten minutes, the principal came on and uh, told everybody to put the TVs on so the students could see what was going on. So I'm definitely against the attacks. I mean, I'm not, I don't support anything like that. I mean, the killing of uh, civilians, innocent people. Um, no, I definitely guess it. That's a horrible thing. Yeah, uh, Al Qaeda had actually uh, declared war against the United States in about '97 or '98. They wrote it down. They broadcasted it. So, yeah, this is not something they. It was definitely a declaration of war. I mean, they had done other things like uh, bomb the embassies in Africa, in, in Kenya and Tanzania. That was in 1998. Um, they did the uh, the USS Cole bombing in 2000. So they had been doing things like this. Prior to the main cause behind the attacks on September 11 was because of a terrorist known as Osama bin Laden. Terrorists are people who dislike the idea of free and open countries such as the US and Europe. Osama bin Laden was born on March 10, 1957. He thought that the Muslims were the main power controlling the world and that the US was the only country that was blocking them to achieve this power. He created the Al-Qaeda organization in order to bring the Muslim world together to unite and defeat the United States of America. The attacks on September 11 was organized by a name named Shaki Mohammed was later confirmed by Osama bin Laden. Shaki Mohammed, along with other many terrorists, showed animosity toward the U.S. because they loathed that the United States allied with the Jews. The, you know, the Al Qaeda has stated in its, uh, you know, I guess on its website, it's, it's published uh, their statement of principles, I guess, that they wanted to, uh, you know, they want to make the Middle East maybe one big. Uh, country or nation, Islamic nation, uh, very fundamentalist 
Islamic nation, and they see the United States as you know an obstacle to that goal, and they see the United States as everything they're against. It's it's too you know immoral. It's too loose. It's you know, but I mean, some people would call that freedom. You can do what you want, but they don't like that. So uh, you know that's what I guess that's why they would uh, you know target the United States, and it's a big power too. So if anybody could stop them, it would be the United States. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was interesting. I found out later on that, you know, he was down in Florida in an elementary school classroom, and uh, he was notified of the, uh, the second plane hitting uh, the World Trade Center. And, uh, and he kind of sat there for about, I don't know, six minutes approximately, uh, look, looking kind of confused, didn't know what to do. <laughs> Eventually he got up, he left, and he, and he went on his way. He flew around a few places. He wasn't sure if you know, he was going to be targeted in this attack. Um, and then eventually that night he came back to the White House. I, uh, I probably would have just gotten up right away and said, I'm sorry kids, we have an emergency here, I have to take care of it, uh, and, and go on and uh, find out all the information you can and uh, start planning on, on a response. Uh, not Iraq, they, they weren't sent to Iraq immediately. Oh, I mean, for the, um, like the Taliban? To yeah, the Taliban are in Afghanistan, because yeah. that's mm -hmm. where Al-Qaeda was. And uh, yeah, I would have done that. I would have said, what I would have done what he, he had done to say, all right, turn over the Al-Qaeda leadership. They refused to do it, so I think in the month of October or near the end of October, they sent in uh, some U.S. Special Forces to work with the Northern Alliance, which was um, an Afghan group that was against the Taliban, and I would have done that. As far as the whole Iraq thing, I think that was a diversion that uh, we kind of took our eye off the ball and, uh, and went and put all the resources in Iraq, and that was just a mistake as far as working against Al-Qaeda. Sure. I absolutely can't stand people like uh, Al-Qaeda, these fanatics, these uh, religious fanatics. I, I don't like them of any religion. And these guys really took it to an extreme. And absolutely, I think, uh, I mean, I, I do not like war. Uh, I did not, you know, approve of the Iraq um, invasion. But in Afghanistan, I think that was a job that had to be done. Uh, it's possible it could happen again. Uh, you never know. Um, another group might rise up, somebody that we're not paying attention to. Um, you, you, you never say never, because uh, you just never, I mean, we never thought this, this could happen. So uh, it's possible, but we are looking for this kind of thing uh, much more closely than we did before 9-11. So as long as we keep doing that, uh, the probability of it happening is probably low. Were they aware of the attacks? No, I don't think the government was aware of the attacks. I, I, don't, I don't buy into the conspiracy theories. I think Not like they planned the attacks, but like they knew like there was some kind of attack that was going to happen. Um, they had some indication that something was going on. I mean, they had um, someone had called the FBI, one of the FBI offices, and I don't know where it was in the southwest, I think, about some guys who just who were in a flight training school who wanted to learn just how to fly these big planes, not how to take off and land them. And that kind of threw up some warning flags in their minds, and this instructor called the FBI office, but apparently that didn't get high enough up, high enough up to, uh, you know, for anybody up in Washington to do anything about it. So uh, there were some indications, but there was a lot of miscommunications, things not taken seriously. Um, and then, you know, it might have been prevented, but other than that, I don't think that's, there was any more knowledge of it for the government to do anything about it. Uh, the World Trade Center is a, a symbol of America's economic power. It's right there in lower Manhattan, near Wall Street. Uh, and the Pentagon is the symbol of <clears throat> our military might. That's the, the headquarters of the American military. Uh, that, that plane that went down in Pennsylvania was probably coming back to Washington to crash either into the Capitol or the White House, which are symbols of our political power. So I think they wanted to, I mean, this was a symbolic attack that did a lot of damage, but they obviously wanted to focus on our economic, military, and political might. The health effects from the attacks were pretty deadly. 2,996 people along with 19 hijackers were killed in the attacks. Approximately 18,000 people have estimated to develop a type of lung illness because of the toxic fumes left behind by the explosion of the airplanes. The economic aftermath of the tax was also pretty devastating because the tax created a large recession in the economy. The gross domestic product of the U.S. dropped by 23.3 billion in the year following the tax. The U.S. stock market lost 1.4 trillion. Um, do I do anything different since 9-11? Uh, I, I don't, f I haven't gone on a plane since then, so it's been, you know, over 10 years since I've flown on a plane. Um, but that's not a deliberate choice. I just haven't had any place I wanted to go 
on a plane. I would go through all the security if I had to, but I would say that um, just like before, I was always pretty aware in, in keeping an eye on in, in the world situation, reading the newspaper, watching the news, but uh, even more so now since that happened. Uh, because heck, if it could happen again, I don't want to be anywhere near it. I'd like to know what's, uh, what's going on in the world, what might cause it. I mean, I didn't even think it was Al-Qaeda who did uh, the, the attack at first. I thought maybe it was some Palestinian group that was upset with Israel um, because the peace talks had broken down the year before and the United States has been a traditionally strong supporter of Israel. So I thought maybe it was the Palestinians. But it actually was. Um, Sheikh Mohammed, who was like the planner of the attacks, mm -hmm. was actually showing animosity toward the United States because they um, went with the Israel. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it. That, that goes into the whole big anti-American, um, you know, going back to the first Gulf War in, in the early 90s, um, Osama bin Laden was very upset that American troops were in Saudi Arabia getting, you know, preparing for Desert Storm against, you know, to kick out the Iraqi army out of Kuwait. So, I mean, there's a lot of things, but it's really, I mean, that's part of it. The U.S.-Israeli alliance um, and uh, the United States' power in the Middle East and, and Al-Qaeda was very opposed to that. First few days after the attacks, I mean, everything was, you know, seen through 9-11 lenses. I mean, it was just on the news constantly, 24 hours a day um, for weeks and weeks at a time. It was the, the biggest story, uh, news story in the last 20, 30 years. Uh, I mean, it was bigger than Michael Jackson's death. I mean, that was ridiculous. Anna Nicole Smith, those things got a lot. But, I mean, 9-11 went on, you know, well into November before you started seeing breaks for other news. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, just everybody was talking about it and finding out, you know, who did it, what happened, and constantly showed video of the attacks. New video would come in from people who had their own cameras. And I see you collect the newspaper every day? Yeah, I did that. Um, I collect the newspaper from different newspapers, not just the Baltimore Sun. For I don't know, for weeks at a time, and then just the Baltimore Sun for, you know, a couple more months, and I have these boxes at home, I still have them. Uh, I don't know why, I mean, it, it's, it's being a history nut, I guess, having that's pretty neat. You can look back, I bring in some of these on 9-11, I put them up on the board just to show them that these were the newspaper headlines at the time. All right, thank you very much. Okay. The attacks of 9-11 proved to be a dangerous tragedy throughout America. Even though there are still many terrorist organizations throughout the world, many people are stepping up to terrorists and trying to make this society a safer place. On May 2, 2011, Osama bin Laden was officially killed under the covert operations ordered by Barack Obama. The U.S. proved to the world that they are strong to handle their own matters, even with the catastrophe that occurred on September 11, 2001. Thank you for watching. Self, yeah, country love.